So recently I made a video about how I've been eating primarily once a day for the last five years. And uh, despite doing that, I've still able to build some muscle mass. I've gotten stronger in my exercise and fitness. And uh, yeah, I haven't experienced any of these like negative side effects of this kind of extended fasting. How does it work? And is it even possible? And how do I do it? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about can you build muscle with one meal a day? And how do you actually do it? Do it. Make sure you click the like and subscribe as well for future videos about similar biohacking. Okay, so let's give you like a brief overview. When I started doing one meal a day, I weighed approximately 72 kilograms or something, and that was five years ago. And now I weigh approximately 79 kilograms. And uh, yeah, over the course of this time period, I've still increased all my lifts at the gym. I've uh, gotten stronger with calisthenics and uh, yeah, everything else. There are some other people and even some athletes who have done one meal a day and they're still able to, you know, be very good in their exercise. Kohei Uchimuras is a two-time Olympian gymnastics champion and a six-time world champion from Korea who also eats one meal a day. <laughs> the famous old-school bodybuilder Sergio Olivia was also said to be eating one meal a day, at least sometimes. Now, of course, these people, they're not like the biggest, they're not Ronnie Coleman, they're not... They're not literally the champions of the world uh, year round all the time. These people, they may do one meal a day because of some other goals and purposes. So that is for me as well. Like I'm not doing one meal a day because of, I think it's superior in terms of muscle growth or exercise. I do it just because I enjoy it. And it's very, very simple to be uh, low body fat all the time. And it's also good for like mental performance, productivity, and uh, just even some longevity benefits that I do think that uh, will happen. If your goal is pure muscle mass and you want to be building muscle as fast as possible, then yeah, you should eat, you know, four to five, six times a day as the co common bodybuilding recommendations uh, tell you to. But uh, yeah, like I said, if you're interested in some other aspects of intermittent fasting, then the one meal a day can be a possible option and you don't necessarily have to lose muscle. Yeah, buddy! Muscle growth results from the positive balance between muscle protein breakdown, which is catabolism, and muscle protein synthesis, or anabolism. Anabolism and muscle growth are regulated by anabolic pathways like mTOR and IGF-1. They're stimulated by protein, amino acids, insulin, carbs, and overall calories. Catabolism and muscle breakdown are regulated by catabolic pathways like AMPK and autophagy. They're activated by calorie restriction, protein restriction, fasting, exercise, and some foods. You can still build muscle by eating one meal a day if you stimulate more muscle protein synthesis than you stimulate more muscle protein breakdown. It's just that it's very hard to reach that if you're only eating one meal a day and you're stimulating muscle synthesis only once. One of the biggest limiting factors to building muscle with one meal a day is the amount of muscle protein synthesis that you can stimulate in that one meal. So your body can stimulate muscle protein synthesis only to up to a certain threshold per meal. And in order to overcome this limitation, then you need to have several meals spread throughout the day to keep the muscle protein synthesis elevated all the time. However, when you do eat protein in a single sitting, it doesn't mean that you're losing the protein or your body doesn't absorb it. Your body will absorb all of the protein that you eat. It's just going to do it over a slower period of time and it's going to last for a lot longer. For example, the digestive hormone cholecystokinin CCK can slow down the contraction speed of intestines in response to protein intake. CCK gets released when you eat dietary protein and it slows down your digestion as to absorb it better. Several studies on intermittent fasters have shown that eating your entire day's protein in one sitting or within four hours doesn't cause muscle loss or negatively affects protein metabolism. So the most important thing is to just eat enough protein and even if you do it within one meal or two meals or whatever it means compared to six meals, then uh, you shouldn't like lose muscle because you can still get a the adequate amount of protein and your body will break down that protein you know, as it goes along over a longer period of time. It's just that in order to build muscle, then you need some of these additional pulses and spikes in the muscle protein synthesis to trigger the body to start building muscle. So over the course, the different main difference between eating like six meals a day and one meal a day would be just the speed at which you build muscle. So uh, there is a higher risk of losing muscle if you eat one meal a day because of just spiking muscle protein synthesis once compared to six times. But if you spread it out over the course of like I don't know, six years like I have, then uh, you can still see a linear progression in your muscle growth uh, as long as you eat enough protein per day and doing consistently. Protein rocks. What I also discussed in my previous video was this thing called targeted intermittent fasting. And uh, this is probably my biggest secret in terms of uh, how do I still manage to you know, build muscle and get stronger while doing one meal a day. Because like I said, it's not the most optimal thing uh, to build muscle with. And yeah, if you're not really careful, then you will probably, you know, at least you're going to hit a plateau and it's not going to be the most best thing. So that's why I do this targeted intermittent fasting, which means that I still eat one meal a day and I have like a protein shake during my workout. Um, so that is going to give me like an additional surge in uh, muscle protein synthesis and is also going to help me to 
to reach my uh, daily protein intake much more easily while still ma maintaining a more positive anabolic state. So it's going to reduce the muscle catabolism doing exercise while at the same time increasing my uh, muscle protein synthesis. Personally, I think that it's very hard to be building muscle if you only eat one meal a day, like within one hour or something, uh, because of the same reasons, like you're just uh, being in a catabolic state for too long and you don't have enough time for muscle anabolism. Whereas if you have like a protein shake or even like two meals a day, 16 and 8 fasting, uh, which is a very common way of, the, way of doing it, that is also like a very perfectly suitable for building muscle because you still get two spikes in muscle protein synthesis and you can minimize the muscle catabolism. So the targeted interval fasting is, let's say, one and a half meals a day, basically, and uh, I do it also because of convenience, like I just don't uh, prefer to eat during daytime, kind of saves a lot of time, and it's very easy to just have like a shake or something. Awesome, I love protein. So here are the things you need to do in order to build muscle with one meal a day. Increase your protein intake. Because you're eating at a confined window, you need to make sure you get adequate amounts of protein. Optimal ranges are between 0.7 to 1.0 grams per pound of body weight. However, I do think that a slightly higher protein intake may be more optimal if you're doing one meal a day because of the said reasons that your body would uh, digest the protein over a longer period of time. So uh, with one meal a day, you can increase it up to 1.2 grams per pound of lean body mass. Second, focus on resistance training. The most important part is to send the right stimulus to your body in the form of resistance training. Heavy compound movements like bench press, squats, deadlifts, pull-ups, barbell rows and overhead press are the best muscle builders. Your main focus in training should be getting stronger in these lifts. Use carbs strategically. To not go too catabolic during the day, you want to be fat adapted and in ketosis most of the time. However, some carbs structured around your workouts won't make you lose that adaptation. The best time to have some carbs is either immediately before or after a workout. Sleep properly. The most important aspect of recovery is deep sleep. That's when your body starts repairing itself. Focus on nutrient density. Eat foods with the essential nutrients your body needs. The best ones for that would be organ meats, eggs, fish meats, tubers, vegetables, fruits, and some nuts. If you're struggling with eating enough calories within one to two hours, then eat higher calorie foods that have some nutrients. The easiest way to do that would be to swap leaner pieces of protein like a chicken breast or a whitefish for something slightly heavier and fattier like beef or pork. Lastly, you should also maybe want to have like some refeed days basically that you don't, you don't want to be doing one meal a day all the time because your body may get used to it and you may struggle by just heating your protein and calories uh, all the time consistently. So on some days you may have like two meals that is perfectly fine and that can actually be a beneficial thing in order for giving your body a break as well as increasing your overall protein and calorie intake. So there you have it. This is how I do one meal a day. You can call it one and a half meals a day or targeted intermittent fasting, whatever it is. Uh, but yeah, that's how I do it. And uh, I don't really, I don't plan to stop at the moment because I enjoy it. And it's uh, pretty, pretty simple and pretty easy. So as long as I'm still making progress, as, all, as long as I'm still making gains and as long as, long as I'm enjoying it, then I'm going to keep going. If you want to know how to fully optimize this kind of targeted intermittent fasting for muscle growth, fat loss and longevity, then check out my metabolic autophagy masterclass. You'll also get a four-week meal plan and workout routine that tells you exactly how to do it. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click a like, subscribe, and notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.